Hello, my name is Nathan and uh, I'm with Western Shelter Systems and today we're going to show you the mobile hybrid container system. This is the, uh, the system. Uh, all of this equipment you see behind me fits into this one ISU-90 container, which is the standard for the U.S. military. Um, you can see that uh, we've got a shelter that's 570 square feet and will house, have, handle the billeting for up to 24 folks. Um, we've got the electrical distribution, the water handling, the air conditioning, climate control, and the anchoring system. Uh, inside we'll also have the showers and a toilet system as well as a sink. So we'll begin by taking a look at the generator. This is a 15 kilowatt diesel powered generator. Uh, it's designed to be ultra quiet, so it's a very, very nice unit to have near your camp or your billeting area um, because you won't hear it very often. Um, it's a good, good unit to fit this, this size uh, system. We've got the electrical distribution here up on the wall. This is going to handle all the main distribution out to the shelter and all the accessories that are included. And over here we have all of our water handling system. Uh, which consists of the uh, water purification unit that's going to provide you the potable water which is going to be stored in the potable water bladder. From there you're going to distribute that potable water bladder through the pump system into your shower and sink assembly uh, through a water heater that's located inside. You also have your gray water collection system which is a, a gray water bladder and the pumps and hoses that go along with it uh, for pulling the wastewater out of your shower and your sink assembly. We have a three and a half ton uh, heat pump for all your climate control needs. And uh, after that, we'll uh, go inside and take a look. This is the entryway for the shelter system. Um, it, it acts really well as a mud room or basically a buffer for the climate control as you come in and out of the shelter. See that we've got a simple rigid door frame here. And we'll come on inside. And you'll see that our two toilet systems. So these are a dry chemical toilet system designed to basically encapsulate uh, the, both the liquid and the solid waste so that you can dispose of it properly in a, in a regular garbage can. The liquid waste pouch here will pop open. Uh, and it's got an enzyme and, and granular material in the bottom that will actually solidify or gel the uh, liquid waste so that it doesn't spill or anything like that. And it'll just get closed up and it'll get disposed of outside in a normal garbage can. We also have the solid waste uh, bags as well and those can be stored in, uh, in this little caddy here. We've also got the bench here so that you can sit down while you're removing your boots or your outerwear or anything like that uh, to kind of get prepped to come on inside the main shelter. So now we'll come back through the, sh through the container into the shelter system. As you walk in here you'll notice this is the, uh, the hygiene side where we have the showers so we've got two shower stalls, both have a, a divider in the middle of them. Uh, the plumbing is all hard plumbed into the container unit, so all of your plumbing will go through the water heater and it's, the shower heads are already pre-plumbed. You do have a control switch for the sump pump, so all your wastewater uh, will be pumped out to the containment bladder. Inside each shower stall you'll have a dry bag for storing your towels and your dry clothes while you're showering. And then we have a shower caddy here uh, that will hold your shampoo and soaps and miscellaneous items. There is a, a fluorescent light inside the shower stall as well to give you a little bit more illumination. And then uh, we'll go to the sink here. The sink is just a very basic sink. We've got hot and cold water running to it. Uh, we have the Lexington mirrors so that they don't shatter or, uh, or, or break in any other way. Um, and then we have the the wastewater drains that go out to the gray water system. Next thing we've got here is we've got a medical organizer bag um, that can be used for a lot of different things, but most of the time it's for sanitary gloves, uh, basic first aid equipment, um, and stuff like that. 
you can also it's also got a desk here that you can use for taking notes on patients or or injuries that happen on scene for the climate control unit we have a thermostat here that uh, is very easy to operate and will basically preset your climate control needs uh, and can be adjusted very easily we also have our three panel windows base basically what you're looking at is we can open up the window screen uh, we can go outside and remove the main window and that'll let more airflow through or we can close it up like you're seeing here you also have the insulation both on the roof and on the walls for the whole shelter which really helps with the climate control these are our fluorescent tube lights the tube lights have a uh, a dual purpose sleeve on them. One, one purpose for it is to hang the light. The other part is to allow you to dim the fluorescent light. So you can open it for full light or you can close it down and uh, provide just a very little bit of light coming out of it. This is our bunk bed. With this container system there's 12 to 13 bunk beds that come along with this kit. Uh, these both have the capacity to handle 450 pounds per level. You can either have two people on here or you can have one person on the bottom with all their gear on top of the, the bunk bed. So you have quite a, quite a bit of area here to either set up bunk beds or other facilities inside here. This could be a mobile command system, however you want to situate it. Um, we do have our climate control pump through the air plenum which really kind of disperses the air and makes it a pretty even heating or cooling uh, when you're inside the shelter. We have fully integrated electrical wiring all the way through the shelter uh, to provide power to wherever you need it all throughout the shelter. All right. Well, thank you for uh, the, coming along with me on the tour and uh, Western Shelter. Uh, thanks you very much.